Yeah, it's made with bits of real panther, so you know it's good. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for unscripted Paul Rudd moments that were kept in the movie. Venti is large. No, Venti is 20. Danny. Yeah, large is large. Don't tell me what to say and what not to say, Paul McCartney. It's hooded. She'll never see you coming. For this list, we're looking at lovable improv master Paul Rudd's best ad-libbed lines. What's your favorite Paul Rudd moment? Let us know in the comments below. I'm bugging myself. Clueless. The 1995 classic teen comedy holds a special place in many 90s kids' hearts. It was filled with memorable slang, both real and invented, such as total Betty and as if. Ugh, oh, as if. Another such expression was I'm buggin', used to mean being disturbed or freaking out. The film's final scene features a wedding reception, in which the girls are discussing their future weddings as their boyfriends listen in and bug out as they realize what the girls are talking about. Oh my god, they're planning our weddings already. When Donald Faison's character Murray claims he's buggin', Paul Rudd's response was improvised. I'm, telling you, I'm completely buggin'. Jeez, I'm, I'm buggin' myself. He couldn't keep a straight face, though, and the laughter that ensues is genuine. According to Faison, there was a little too much laughter, much to the film crew's dismay. The bedroom scene. This is 40. A lot of people are RSVPing to your birthday party. You sure you don't want to just do a joint birthday party? No. We always used to. No. By this point, Paul Rudd had worked with Leslie Mann quite a bit, the two having played a couple in Knocked Up, only to reprise their roles in the spin-off This Is 40. At least she's getting some? Yes! What are you talking about? We had sex the other night. You gotta give me a little credit for that. It's possible, however, that Rudd got a little too comfortable around man, something evident in one of the bedroom scenes. As the couple discusses the lack of passion in their relationship, Rudd emits quite a bit of flatulence. What is she doing? Okay. You can see Leslie Mann begin to crack up, but ever the professional, she continues with the scene, riffing off Rudd's impromptu sound effects. The result was kept in the film, as the scene fits in perfectly with the characters and their current dilemma. Don't do that! What am I doing? Don't fart in the bed! I, I'm not, it's the springs. We feel bad for man, though. And the crew. The Condom Collection. Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. Women have been all over me since we got crazy famous, not to brag or anything, but I just gave Florence Henderson crabs. That is in no way a brag, Brian. That's horrible. The thing about many of these films is that most scenes were originally scripted, yet the final product is an amalgam of heavily improvised dialogue. In this particular scene from Anchorman 2, Paul Rudd's Brian Fantana displays his condom collection, with his fellow newsmen looking on. The cast of these films is talented on the improv front, and it shows in the hilarity of the final product. Oh boy condom. It's a terrific condom. Although it does burn a bit because it's covered in Cajun spices. It's really impossible to tell what's improvised and what's scripted, but the outtakes suggest that some of the best lines here were ad-libbed. The rigid ghost. Mm, that's the best damn rubber on the market. <laughs> I got four of my seven illegitimate children using this condom. Can anyone keep a straight face when watching this scene? Well, you know the old expression. Nope. The mirror scene. Wanderlust. Huh? Eva? What do you think? You like my exquisite, exquisite erection? In the film Wanderlust, the protagonist couple, played by Rudd and Jennifer Aniston, find themselves in a free love hippie commune. Aniston's character is a little more ready to indulge in the polygamy, whereas Rudd's character is a little more reluctant. Oh, God. This was your idea, George. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. When he finds himself in a situation in which he can make love to commune member Eva, he needs a little encouragement, so he turns to a mirror for a pep talk. What do you think, Eva? Yeah? You gonna take it? Since he's the only one present, he's basically talking dirty to himself. Again, the outtakes make it clear that Rudd was basically making it up as he went along. I'm gonna get it all up in your vage. Get it up in your vage. The dinner scene. Knocked up. Isn't it weird, though, when you have a kid and all your <laughs> dreams and hopes just go right out the window? Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann were so good at playing a couple in 2007's Knocked Up that they got their own spin-off film with This Is 40. In one particular scene, the two are on a double date with Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl's characters. No, I mean, I love what I'm doing. No, like, say, okay, say, you know, before you're married and have children, you want to go live in India for a year. You can do it. But you can't do it once you have a family. 
Once again, Rudd was basically left to his own devices, and riffs with Seth Rogen on time travel, the DeLorean, and their mutual bro love. Who needs a time machine? This is my time machine. I'm gonna throw you my DeLorean, gun it to 88. <laughs> As Rudd's character gets increasingly tipsy, he becomes louder and more boisterous, much to the chagrin of his wife. We also get a little taste of Rudd's Robert De Niro impression. It's a good plan. Yeah, I like it. It is a good plan until her water breaks all over Robert De Niro's shoes. My shoes! Hey, there's all this baby goo on it. These shoes? <laughs> hey, on these shoes? Did you puke on my shoes? Did, you, did your water break <laughs> did you on puke my, on my shoes? Hey. Scenes between the thieves. Ant-Man. Tell me about that tip. What? I want to know about that tip. Oh, baby time! Hot dogs. It's so on right now. Marvel's Ant-Man features many scenes with unscripted moments. However, perhaps most memorable out of these scenes are the interactions between the thieves. It's the wrong details. It's the wrong. It has nothing to do with the story. Go. Michael Pena, the actor playing Luis, has said that most of their scenes went off script in order to make them funnier. David Dastmalchen, the actor behind the European character Kurt, claimed he was nervous going into it, but the atmosphere was comfortable as he was surrounded by seasoned pros. Remember what that iceberg did? Yeah, man, it killed DiCaprio. Killed everybody. And not to kill the old lady. She still throw the jewel into the oceans. In fact, the thieves gave us so many laughs that we would gladly watch a thieves spin-off film. We definitely could go for more of Luisa's stories and Kurt's European superstitions. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The gaming scene, the 40-year-old virgin. While the prompt is certainly offensive, Rudd's improvisation skills here are on full display. You know how I know you're gay? How? How do you know I'm gay? Because you macrame yourself a pair of jean shorts. Actually, so are Seth Rogen's. You know how I know you're gay? You just told me you're not sleeping with women anymore. In The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Paul Rudd and Seth Rogen play video games together in a classic scene. As they play, they have a battle of wits which begins when Rogan's Cal claims that Rudd's David must be gay due to his sudden celibacy. Gay now? No, I'm not gay, I'm just celibate. This begins a classic scene that was mostly ad-libbed. You know how I know you're gay? How? You like Coldplay. The exchange made a reappearance in a deleted scene from Knocked Up, when Rogan and Rudd are driving to Vegas. You know how I know you're gay? How? You want to see Celine Dion not on shrooms. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.